everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. This afternoon we're going to read a book called All Through the Year. It's written by Jane Godwin and the illustrator is Anna Walker. I love these drawings and this is another one of my favourite books. You'll hear me say that a lot. I love this girl swinging in the tree and the boys reading a book themselves underneath the tree. But I wondered, what does it mean all through the year? What do you think this book's about? If I turn it around, the blurb might give me a clue. Let's read it. Open this book and travel your way all through the year and treasure each day. From this beloved author illustrator team comes a timeless account of a year in the life of an Australian family. Told through the eyes of a child and featuring each month of the year, here is a book to give, to share, and to treasure. I love this dog holding on to his penguin. All through the year. Meet my family, my mum and dad, my brothers big and small, our puppy who is very new, and me. I want to take you through one year 12 months in all, each day is different from the last. Some go slowly, some go fast. I could hear lots of rhyming words in this book. That's another one of my favourite things, rhyming books. I love it when the words rhyme all the time. So I can see last and fast. They have the st at the end. Now, if I have a look at this picture, she's standing on a box to reach the trees. She's not quite big enough yet. And he's holding on to a brand new puppy. And there's a baby. And Dad is raking the grass up. But this is all bare land here. So let's see what happens throughout the year. January. In January, days stretch out with lots to do and find. We feel the sand. We tie the bait. We swim, we play, we stay up late. At a time for games and sunny weather, mum, dad and us together. Summertime in Australia and we're always at the beach if we can get there. If you can't get to the beach, you might be riding a horse in the middle of Australia somewhere. Or if you're overseas, it might be snowing where you are in January. February. In February, school begins. I'm nervous and it's hot. Our shoes are tight. The grass is brown. I wear my brother's hand-me-down. My tummy's in a knot. New girls, new boys, a new class pet. Which new teacher did you get? Pet and get. This is the first day of school. There's no grass usually because we have a long, hot, dry summer. The children don't know who their new teachers are until they get to school. Sometimes they get to meet them the year before, but sometimes it's a surprise. March. In March the air feels cooler, softer, leaves turn crimson red. That's when they flutter to the ground. We make a pile and tumble round. Some fall on baby's head. We plant some bulbs, a daffodil. They hide till spring, so dark and still. I've planted some snow peas. You can see they've turned purple, and then some of them have turned green. I can't wait for the peas to get nice and fat inside and I get to eat them. I get to play in the autumn leaves. Autumn leaves are usually dry and crunchy and fun to throw around and play in. But this baby's looking a little bit bigger now, isn't he? Some things are changing. April. In April, there are hidden sparkling eggs to find and eat. We get up when the morning's new. The grass feels crisp and shines with dew. It's cold beneath my feet. Eat feet. New dew. These are looking a lot like Easter eggs. Easter eggs are not like chicken eggs, are they? They're chocolate. For breakfast, we have hot cross buns. They smell of cloves and cinnamon. Mmm, yum. And the baby's sitting up now by himself, and he's crawling. 
This puppy's not looking very much like a puppy anymore either. May. In May we make a card for Mum. A cup of tea in bed. My brother bakes a chocolate cake. Mum loves the presents that we make. Dad buys her one instead. She's making the presents. Sometimes at school we make presents for Mother's Day too. And our Mother's Day is in May. When's your Mother's Day celebrated? June. In June the days are very short. Our breathing looks like steam. The night comes in the afternoon. And through the mist a shining moon makes tall trees all a gleam. The shortest day, the longest night, our campfire burns a warming light. It's actually starting to get a bit cool here. It's, we're in July here in Australia at the moment and it is getting quite cool at night but during the day it's still quite nice. We're very very lucky in Australia. If you live down south in Australia you might see snow. July. July is cold as cold can be with snow on silver gums. We put on parkas, scarves and hats. Parkas are jackets. Slide down the hill on plastic mats. Numb fingers, frozen thumbs. Snow tumbles from the branches. Listen. Sun shines on ice and makes it glisten. Listen, glisten. Lots of rhyming words. Hats, mats. Oh boy, that looks like fun. Sometimes it is fun to drive down south where it snows and we get to go tobogganing. For some people you can walk out your back door and that's what happens but in Australia we have to go down south for that to happen. August. In August on the weekend days I like to climb our tree and build a lookout by myself with curtains, floor, a wooden shelf, a secret place for me. My brother thinks that he's the boss. He changes things and makes me cross. Boss, cross. Now this tree is looking very different to how it looked at the start of the year. Summertime it was full of leaves and now by August they're just about all gone. September. September comes with daffodils and blossom buds and rain. The sun is pale, the shadows long, as we all sing a football song and ride home on the train. Australians absolutely love their football. The sun is pale, the shadows long, as we all sing a football song and ride home on the train. Everybody has a team, a scarf, a song, a shout, a scream. Now where I come from in Queensland, we have a couple of teams that we can go for. We can go for the Townsville Cowboys, or we can go for the Brisbane Broncos, or we can go for the Gold Coast Titans. We have a few choices depending on where you come from in Queensland. October. I've been saving up all year for this one special day. My favourite thing's the carousel. My friends all love that one as well. I chose a dappled grey. A dappled grey is a horse with grey spots. My dad buys show bags full of treats. We walk home slowly swapping sweets. One of the favourite times of year in Australia is show day and it's a little bit different depending on where in Australia you come from but usually around the cooler months we celebrate our shows in each state. You might go to a show and get lots of special treats too. November. November's when we tidy desks then put up decorations. We practice for our concert night. Our Christmas tree it glows with light. It's time for celebration. Our teacher shouts, she makes a fuss. I wonder, is she sick of us? Sometimes we get to put up the Christmas tree in our classroom too and celebrate Christmas. Even the children who don't usually get to celebrate it enjoy having the fun time and the fun things we do at the end of the year. I don't think this teacher looks sick of them at all. I think she's going to be sad. I'm usually sad at the end of the year because I've made such good friends with everyone. December. On Christmas Eve we try to sleep, but sleep it just won't come. Then somehow Christmas morning's here. Beneath the tree our gifts appear. We open up each one. Then eat and drink and laugh and play. It goes so fast this happy day. 
The baby's walking now, they're holding hands, but doing a good job. But they're tiptoeing in to see what their presents are. Christmas Day is super fun. No matter what day you get a present, it's super fun, isn't it? And I can see the picture of the tree. I think this must be a summer picture because there are leaves all over the tree. This, the time has come to say goodbye to this another year. I hope you liked our journey through each month, each page, each thing to do and see and touch and hear. Now we're allowed, now we're almost one year older, taller, smarter, brighter, bolder. Look, the baby's walking. And Dad, what did he plant? He planted sunflowers in the garden. How amazing. And the boy, he looks taller. And the girl, remember at the start she had to stand on boxes? Well, now she doesn't have to. She can reach the tree. And the puppy doesn't look like a puppy anymore, does he? He's all big. So there's been a lot of changes throughout the year. And there they are, back off down to the beach. Just where I'm headed now, I'm taking my dog for a walk to the beach. Thank you so much for reading this book with me today. I wonder, does anybody know how to say all 12 months of the year? In Australia, they go like this. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. How many months were there in the year? Can you remember? Twelve. Well done, everybody. And usually we have four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. Spring is when it's a little bit cool but also getting warm. Summer is when it's really hot. Winter is when it's really cold. And autumn is a little bit like spring where you get a bit of both, a bit of warm days and a bit of cool days. I really hope you enjoyed reading this book with me and please comment. This is another one of my favorites and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.